breaking news out of Lafayette, Louisiana, 135 miles outside of New Orleans, where just hours ago, a man stood up in a crowded movie theater and opened fire. There are fatalities, including the gunman. And we get the latest right now from ABC's Rena Nyman. Tonight, a mass shooting at this Louisiana movie theater. Police say 12 people were shot and three are confirmed dead, including the shooter, who reportedly died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Authorities reporting that 20 minutes into the 7 p.m. showing of Trainwreck, a 58-year-old white male with a criminal history opened fire with a semi-automatic handgun at the Grand 16 Theater in Lafayette. My daughter was in the same theater in the same row as the shooter. She heard some pops and that at first they kind of just thought it was part of the movie and then they started seeing flashes. So that's kind of what made them realize that it was it was shooting. Units were close by and responded immediately. Our response time was less than a minute. Four officers uh, entered the theater to engage the shooter. Um, they did hear shots being fired at that time. The gunman then turned the gun on himself. There were more than 100 people in the theater at the time. Authorities reporting he acted alone and that at least eight people have been transported to the hospital. Injuries ranging from non-life threatening to critical. Trainwreck star Amy Schumer tweeting this note tonight saying, My heart is broken and all my thoughts and prayers are with everyone in Louisiana. The shooter's motive remains unknown. Witnesses describing the chaos inside. The whole group of people running out telling everybody to run for their life. And then we saw a lady with uh, blood all over her leg. I just grabbed my child and we, I mean, we just all ran. All I saw was people running out and I thought maybe they got caught watching a movie they weren't supposed to. Then the next thing I see is a lady full of blood in a dress and then they said there's a gun. Then I just ran. Governor Jindal describing stories of heroism. A couple of teachers in a movie together. One of the teachers literally jumped on top of the other. May have saved her life and literally you know, took a bullet that could have hit the second teacher in the head. The second teacher was injured, was shot but not life-threatening. She's one of the ones being discharged tonight. Despite being injured, the second teacher was able to pull a fire alarm and help to save other lives. The police chief speaking out just hours ago. We do know the identity of the shooter. We are not releasing it at this time. Uh, we are right in the middle of this investigation, and we don't want to affect uh, the integrity or, or the, the investigators' uh, ability to do their jobs and get information uh, on the shooter. And late tonight, police tracking down the suspect's vehicle. The bomb squad called in to detonate a suspicious package, which they now concluded was not a bomb. Tonight's tragic shooting comes just hours after jurors unanimously decided that the death penalty can be considered for James Holmes, the shooter in the 2012 Aurora, Colorado movie theater massacre. And just today, President Obama spoke to the BBC about America's gun laws. Uh, the United States of America is the one advanced nation on earth in which we do not have sufficient common sense gun safety laws, uh, even in the face of repeated uh, mass killings. Calling this issue one of the most frustrating of his presidency. If you look at the number of Americans killed since 9-11 by terrorism, it's less than 100. Uh, if you look at the number that have been killed by uh, gun violence, it's in the tens of thousands. For Nightline, I'm Rena Ninen in New York. Rena, thank you. And of course, ABC News will stay on this breaking story throughout the night.